What's cooking, everybody? I'm Baconoptrix, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Uh, so I found out between this and the last video that the only time progress actually saves in this game is when I die. So hold on, can I just... Oh, yes. Let me die. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> I, I kind of just wanted to do that real quick. But, yeah. So, that was a fun thing I learned. <laughs> this is my entire memory. Oh, that's nice and short. I love it. So, unfortunately, that means last episode, everything I did on... Also, what is that? What was that? Huh. Anyway, that means everything I did on Ember Twin is no longer... I don't believe I have any progress from that anymore. No, seriously, what? Is that just like a satellite or what? Huh. All right, who's, who's the closest? Wait a second, 323 meters. Why is that so close? Is that one of the kids or something? No? Oops. All right, well, I might not be able to get back up. All right, so I'm doing a bunch of weird things already. And, uh... Anything coming? Someone whistling on Adderock. Man, I'm so overwhelmed by this game. There's so much to do, and I'm going to finally take the jump and kill myself. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so yeah, as I was saying, man, there's so much for me to do in this game, and I'm a little overwhelmed by all of it. But I'm going to look at this first. Um, quantum Caves. Oh, oh, oh wait, it did save my stuff from Ember's twin. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so zoom in, sun station. So Ash, wait, have I already looked at these? Yeah, there's more to explore here. Sun station, underground settlement. Chert thinks the lack of surface ruins means the Nomai must have lived somewhere underground. Chert. Chert has their astronomy gear on the north pole of Ember twin. Chert has spotted an unusually high number of supernovae recently. What? View rumor. Oh. Chert saw a Nomai shipwreck shooting a beam of light into the sky somewhere on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere. Yeah, I still need to go back to that. Alright, so what about this up here? Quantum Caves. The Nomai noticed, noticed a strange wandering rock that appears in multiple caves on Ember Twin's northern hemisphere. Did I not even notice that? There's more to explore here. Yes, there is. See, there's so much to explore in this game. A Nomai named Coleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twin's North Pole. All right. Um, that's probably my entire... Wait, mark location on HUD. If I do that... So, you're telling me if I... Does that have anything to do with anything? Huh. Cool. So, this thing orbiting giant steep is marked on here. How interesting. So if I do this again. Alright, you know what? For, forget it for now. I'm just going to... I, just, I wonder. Okay, this makes a similar noise to the quantum fluctuation. So I was like, does that have anything to do with it? Distress beacon. Sounds fairly f similar to quantum fluctuations. Escape pod 2. There it is. Um, and then there's... where? Oh, Chert's all the way over there. Where is um, Giant Steep, though? That's what I want to know. Because I want to hear that weird sound again. Oh, well, that's why I'm going there, isn't it? View map. 
Giant's Deep. You're up next, buddy. All right. Whew. Here we go. Let's try not to die again. Also, let's see if this works this time. Oh, lovely. Huh. I do think the controls change slightly when I do that, but not enough for it to be, you know, like, super, I guess, intrusive. It just threw me off the first time, and then that, yeah, that's that's what happened. I'm coming for you, Giant Steep, and I'm doing it manually. Especially because if I see that sun station and have the chance to land on it, I might just take it. Okay, no. I'll just autopilot there now that I'm around the sun. All right. The, whoa, the interloper's real close. Okay, I don't like how close that is. Uh, let's just, <laughs> you know, move a little farther away. All right, but hey, how's it going? All right, slowing down. Uh, I, it's been implied to me that this is a very story heavy, or, you know, how should I say? It's a very interesting planet to say the least. It's got a lot of information for me. So what's this? Why are things rising out of the planet? And is it really all just, like, ocean? Is there anywhere I can land on here? Oh. All this stuff above me. Hey, how's it going, y'all? What if I just... Hmm. What happens if I just fly at the planet? I kind of don't want to find out, but I kind of do at the same time. So I'm just going to wander around it for a moment. Oh, I'm flying too far away. Alright, so there's all this stuff in orbit. But... I don't know... How I would even get to that. It's moving pretty fast. So I'm going to hope that this is all just like a gas bubble or something. And... Pray that I can descend peacefully. I am... I am holding upward... Oh, okay. I was like, I am holding upward thrust as hard as I can, and yet nothing was happening. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So, wow, it's rainy here. All right, let's land among these ruins. Okay, cool. Art... The land is moving. That's wild. Okay, I'm just going to try to peacefully and calmly land like this. Perfect. That went much better than expected. All right, cool. Um, also, while I'm here, I think I want to remove... Oops. Remove that. I don't need to see Chert's camp at all times. Um, well, let's suit up. There we go. Because I don't know what's happening out here. Gravity two times. Oh, yeah, you can't jump very high. That's my max jump. Okay, we got a storm. It's like the eye of Jupiter, I guess. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, and the raindrops and stuff on my helmet. Oh, I love this. So what's this do? Was this where I was supposed to land? I didn't really want to land on it in case it was something else that's probably where I was supposed to land oh well you know what that works too unless those giant water tornadoes take away my ship yeah oh hello goodness gracious oh so that's what was happening that's really awkward well, great. <laughs> That's not what I expected to be happening today. Oh, and now we're heading back down. Okay, I think I want to. 
Oh, yeah. Understood. All right. So, I think I understand what that landing pad was for. <laughs> so, I don't die like I did. At least that's my guess. So, I wonder, do all the pieces of land have that or just just a couple? All right. You know, let's come in nice and slow. I am moving it at too many meters per second. It pulls me in fast. It's got strong gravity. Hence it being twice that of timber hearths. Okay, just go through gently. There we go. Now, oh, avoid those. Okay, Um, is I think this is the same island I landed on last time. Unless they all look exactly the same, which I don't imagine they would do. But let's try this again. All right. Oops. I probably want to, uh, you know, unbuckle. So I can stop manning my ship. And then, not ship log, suit up. All right. Any tornadoes coming my way? Okay, but why does that one move so much? I'm going to try and run up these stairs before a tornado takes me this time. That's not the thing I wanted. Use jet. It wants me to do that. Okay. Uh. It didn't work. Gravity's too strong. Alright, let's try that again. Let's see if I can get up from here. No, the gravity's way too strong. I can, at best, glide slightly. So no more running up like I did the first time. All right, or like flying, basically. Yeah, let's try this again. I don't like how close those are getting. All right, yeah. Oh my gosh, my jetpack disappears so fast too. Oh, hello. Too close to target text. Um, translate. Statue workshop. Huh. That's it. Oh, hey. How's it going? Hey, let's just photo mode, take snapshot. Yeah, cool. All right, put away before I get launched. And if I do get launched, um, what? Oh, I forgot about that. I'm going to be completely honest. I forgot I saw things like that in the museum. All right, let's. Oh, heck yeah, boy. This is what I like to see. So if I get launched up again, theoretically, the smart thing to do is stand here because then my momentum isn't going downwards and my gravity's right there. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Who's here? No one. That is a thousand meters down, but it's coming from giant steep. This plane, it's big then. All right, so what about quantum fluctuations? That is also way down there. What is going on, man? What about this? What does this do? Do you, do you have anything to say for yourself? Oh, big lightning. No, you don't, okay. I'm probably going to get launched any second now. Oh. Oh, hold on. This has a symbol of a tornado on it. Oh. There it is. Yep, a thousand meters down. So if I stand here when I get launched, am I going to be safe? Is that what it's telling me? Hold up. Ha! Huh. I like that it's giving me the prompt, because I wouldn't have thought of that on my own. Okay. Snapshot. Rotate the camera. What's up down here? Am I not able to get down or? Oh, hold up. I think a tornado's coming. 
I'm gonna stand here just to be just to test my hypothesis all right let the ocean take me yay flashlight um, but oh oh this is in fact working It's keeping me safe. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. I was I was right to stand on this. That makes me happy. The gravity is still zero, but I'm theoretically not going to die right here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, cool. Let's translate this real quick. Lammy. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Phlox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Ooh, I'm going to say Lamy. But, but what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? <laughs> Tag it. Phlox specifically told us not to do that. Lavy. I really want to see the test, too, Lamy. Lamy. Okay, I have no idea how I'm pronouncing that name. Blame me. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will let us see a later test. That's it. Okay. Do they, like, only communicate through writing? Why do they just have full conversations written down on walls here? You are uncomfortably close. All right, well, theoretically, I should have just enough time to get to one of those if I need to at any moment. All right, you're all going that way, right? I think so. I don't think I'm in any immediate danger. Freeze detected, oxygen refilled, heck yeah. All right, so we got some ruins right here. Nothing unusual. Except down there. That's escape pod two. And another unknown one, very far away. Alright, but what about that's not what I meant to do. Alright, you know, I'm gonna recall that thing real quick. Alright. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Alright, these ruins. Um, either they're a puzzle for me to solve, or they're kind of useless. And I am going to... I don't know where these tornadoes are going. They kind of just seem to be chilling over there. Oh, but there's... Is that one bigger than the others? Hmm... Why does this one have a ring above it? All right, I have so many questions. At what point do I get to go underwater? Is my question. And what's over here? Oh, man. This place is cool, but what do I do about it? Maybe it's time to go to a different island. But this one also has the cool ruins. I mean, yeah, like the orange glowy ones. Okay, those have to mean something, right? It can't just be, you know, whatever. And surely, there's a way to get down there. Yeah, let's launch the scout right there. And then, while that's happening. I'm going to come over here and stand on this one just for safety's sake. Like cuz there's there's runes to translate down there. Or scrolls. I wonder. So that has a ring above it too. So I wonder if one of these um one of these things I'm standing on will teleport me when the tornado comes. It's possible. And like maybe ones without rings don't. 
Are you coming this way this time? I am easily losing track of everything, but... Oh, hey, and there's the floating island running by. Yes, I do think you are coming closer. Okay, but... What is the puzzle here? Oh, that probably has something to do with it. Getting awfully close. Alright, but is there a way I can interact with this? Hold on, put this away. Apparently not. Oh, that's getting real close. Oh, let me back, let me back, let me back. Oh no, boy. Oh, take me to the tornado thing. I'm not moving fast enough. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, no! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> that was a close one. So, no teleportation shenanigans going on. It's just a void into the open. Hmm. Cool. The gravity was 15 there for a second. That's whack. All right, you know what? Maybe it's time to go explore some other islands for a little bit. Oh, no, please let me just walk. Thank you. I'm sure this would feel super weird. And yeah, I'm just doing it normally all of a sudden. Okay, I thought that one was coming to me. And I was like, you've got to be joking. That's so rude. Alright, so that's how you get in. But how do you get in? I want to know, dang it. I want to know. Can you show me? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh. Hold up. Oh. I can just jump into the water, so that's cool. Uh, can I? Yes, I can get back onto the land, though. All right, well, let's hop back in the ship for a little bit. And then, let's see, did I get any new rumor entries? Yes, statue workshop. Who is texting me? Let me turn that off. I forgot to. All right, much better. Now I can focus on reading this beautiful, beautiful stuff. Juicy, juicy lore. All right, Statue Island view entry. This island must be where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some Nomai children debated bypassing the statue workshop's door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. Oh, so it's telling me I should go underwater and then come back up. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins on the top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Yeah, it's telling me to go under. That sounds very dangerous indeed, especially if a tornado comes by while I'm in there. Because I didn't see any... Hold on. Does that re refill my fuel? No, it doesn't. How do I get more fuel? Ah, refuel jetpack. Cool. So, if that's that, then... Alright, hold on. I'm, I'm going for it, lads. That's not what I meant to do, but... Alright. Yeet. Yeah. Surely my ship can go underwater, right? <laughs> Ooh, 
what the heck? Don't do that to me. What is happening down here? Am I getting pulled by a tornado or a current? Ah, that's a current. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't go that far to that side. Ah oh, yes, the mysterious currents of which were spoken before, once upon a time. There's a mysterious jellyfish thing over there. Alright, so it doesn't want me to go down. Oh wait, it's on this side of the island anyway. Ha 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 ha. I'm smart. Yep, there's my scout. Ah. Is my ship not big enough to get through here? Good enough. Alright. Time to forsake the ship when a tornado comes. And probably die horribly while I'm in here. Look at all these Nomai statues. Why are there skeletons? Oh, and there are Nomai skeletons. Don't tell me those are the children who snuck in here. That sounds very sad. Ah, there is in fact a tornado thing down here. I don't like this thing looming over me. Untranslated no my recording. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? Yarrow, hold on. This is the first time a name's been repeated for me, I think. Flocks, yeah. Yarrow, would you like would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing the statue will choose whoever is closest in closest proximity. Flocks. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin project. Ooh. I need to go back there. Yarrow. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. Daz. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Daz. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. <laughs> Hold up! Is that the ruins I was seeing? Phlox. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send these those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. What? Okay, so they made hard drives for their brains. Oh, I can't look at the ship log because I'm not on the ship. Hmm. So, yeah, the idea is like, here's a Nomai. Memories sent to the statues, statues sent to the mask on Ash Twin, I guess, and then sent back to the Nomai. Got it. Uh, wait, there's another tornado thing up here, I think. So if I get launched, I should be safe. Yep. Alright, so what's this? Pick up Ash Twin's. Projection stone. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I hear a tornado. I'm going to chill here for a moment. Say goodbye to my ship, but, you know, I'm going to be here for a moment. I probably didn't need to fly my ship in here. I am slowly using oxygen. So that's fun. That thing's going to be so busted when it slams back down. Or lost in the water. Or both. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. This is going to be hard to explore this planet, huh? Oh, my ship. Huh. This cave was filled with water. That shouldn't be surprising. Raimi, I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. Raimi, it's comforting to know that statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. 
flocks. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Raimi, they will? And why is that? Flocks. If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would possibly it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Raimi, I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. All right. Cool, cool. So, what about this? What if I... Strange twisting stones? What if I put it in here? What was that? Why did water start peeking up right there? Hmm, should I be taking stuff like this? I really don't know. All right, what, what the? Huh. Well, I think I'm gonna... <gasps> what is this? Hello? Ah. Lovely. All right, I've opened the door. Well, I still need to go out the jank way because, yeah. Now then, where is everything? View ship log, yes please. Statue workshop, Ash Twin project. Yo, oops, that's not it. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Does that mean I'm going to get to see, like, every single one of my memories if I go there? Alright, you know, let's buckle up. And then... Jump back into the water. Heck yeah. Alright, down I go. A little bit. Oh, wait, hold up. What was that? Oh, I was just seeing that again. Oh, where am I? I am... Yeah, the ship is trying to orient itself. Good, good. A strange current. Yeah, just gives me... I mean, th I don't have thalassophobia or anything, but this definitely does provide a strange sensation. An uncomfortable one. All right, probably don't want to be going directly towards those. All right, so what happens if I just fly up here? My scout is still over there. Hold up. This looks like Dark Bramble. What's going on here? Hmm, there's probably more to Dark Bramble than I realize. Alright, get back in. Also, what's up with this music? Wow. I like it. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. That's a huge storm. Well, this one doesn't seem to move, I don't think. Of course, I could be completely wrong, and I'm about to just get absolutely yeeted. Is it moving? Sir, are you coming any closer? I don't hear howling like I do with the other ones when they get close. But, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. The sky is dark. What is happening? I'd rather watch from the safety of my ship, if need be. It's, it's very dark, and my only light is the storm. Alright, so did we just get eclipsed by some... Oh, flip. Buckle up. What? Okay. I think that means I was consumed by the giant tornado. 
Ooh. They weren't both here before. Before it was just him. Hey, I was just about to come find you. Oh, look, 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 you gotta see this. The Nomai statue's eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that. And how they've opened. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabbro, or maybe Rebeck? Oh, stars, this is so exciting. It's making my stomach hurt. Oh, I don't even get a dialogue option for you. <laughs> hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <laughs> Sir. Sigh. Me too. <sighs> Yeah, I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Where are the other travelers? Let's see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Rebeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. And then there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Tell me more about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate the Engineer, and me. And as ground control leader, and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Tess piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went or whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. No thanks, I'm good. Alright, I still have questions. Who is Esker? No acknowledgement of an Esker anywhere in this game besides right there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I recognize Felix's name. Let's see. Yeah, I've read both of these before. How interesting. Hmm. Read. Know my skeleton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do any of these have any further information? You, you big piece of crap. <laughs> Attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. Yeah, I get it now. I get it now. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Museum shard. Yeah. Zoom in. Hello, sir. All right, well then. You know what? Being a little short on time now, I think instead of going back to Giant Steep immediately, I am going to go somewhere else on Timber Hearth. That'll be fun, theoretically. I don't know. I mean, I remember launching a drone or a scout over into a quantum something or other named place, but I couldn't really see what was going on, so maybe I'll head over there if I can find it. Ye All right, so up I go. And then, wait, do you have anything new? Yes, you do. Wait, 0G cave, what? I went through that ages ago. Why is this just now showing up? Oh, I hear Gossiness. <laughs> so I never... So that shows up because I never actually, you know, saved my progress on the first file. Or the first episode. So that's cool, I guess. What the heck? 
I'm so confused why sometimes it seems to absolutely launch me and then other times it's like, nah. In weird directions, at least. All right, so what's going on over here? We've got a lovely lake. How about we land in here? What's going on uh, over here? Oh, well, there we go. Nice and easy landing. All right, down I go. I, I don't imagine I need my suit. You know what, let's take the suit just to be safe. If nothing else, it gives me mobility. Because jetpack. All right. Water. Yeet. All right, so... Anything fun over here? Out of wilds frequency. Yeah, you all the way down there. I don't remember who has the harmonica. I, as I was going through the village, I just quickly glanced through some people though. Uh, so I guess Rebex got the banjo. Um, obviously Chirrut has the drums. I don't remember who has what else though. Again with you though. You whistling on the Addle Rock, sounds like. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. Hey, I've talked to you. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within this crater, within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. What is this quantum moon? They keep mentioning it but i have no idea like i have no idea what it's about so maybe i should hold on quantum fluctuations there's the museum shard over there and then there's another one that's i guess fairly close yeah very close e cool Wandering down into this cave. There it is. You're around here somewhere. Unidentified signal nearby. Yeah, there you are, buddy. I don't want to take my eyes off you. The In the ancient glade, the quiet shade, across old bark, it's always dark. Huh. Well, I'm not going to take my eyes off this yet. Ship log identified grove shard. All right, what if I just... It's gone. It is freaking gone. Heck yeah. Or at least moved. And now it's over there. Now it's where? Museum shard, and then it's right here. All right, cool. I'm going to ignore that for now. Escape pod two, unknown. All right, so is there anything else around here that I should be exploring? Maybe I should just put the signal scope away. Why is this written in so many places? In the ancient glade. Oh, ship up, ship log updated. Okay, the ancient glade, the quiet shade. It's always dark across. Old oh, this is in a different order. Okay, hold on. Oh, what the? Okay, so that has quantum shenanigans going on too. All right, quantum fluctuations. You do not have anything going on with you, though. In the ancient glade, it's always dark. The quiet shade across old bark. What is this trying to tell me? Over here. I'm gonna hop in here. Doesn't seem like anything dangerous. Other than the geyser, you know. Quiet shade, it's always dark across the bark in the ancient glade. Where'd you go this time? Over here? 
So you've got arrows pointing in different directions. It's always dark across old bark in the ancient glade, the quiet shade. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out, but I'm just trying to see if I can do something to it. In the ancient glade, it's always dark across old bark, the quiet shade. I think I've already found the one that made the most sense, but... The quiet shade in the ancient glade across old bark, it's always dark. Seems to... Hmm... What does any of this mean? I don't know. So, across old bark, it's always dark. Quiet shade in the ancient glade. I really don't know what sense to make of this. Across old bark. So is there a sort of, um, I don't know, bridge I should be finding somewhere? I know not. Refuel my jetpack, dang it. Return suit for the moment. All right, let's, let's take off again and see what else we got going on around around timber hearth is this the village this is not oh this is this is the crater i was just in okay what about these mountains oh there's a cave oh no 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 go down go down i'm flying too far now I'm going to try and gently descend. How's it going, everyone? This doesn't look like a landing pad we made. Alright. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to check the ship log. Quantum Grove. Quantum Moon. Okay, view entry. There's a strange rock shard in this grove that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuations frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Yeah. Church research notes mention a quantum moon that no Harthian has been able to land on. I've heard more than that. Hmm. Alright. Take the suit again. Alright. What's going on out here? Uh, I'll jump down there later. What's What about this? What's going on here? Okay. Mining site 2B. Yeah, I know what's up here. I've been to Giant's Deep. I know what's up. Okay, looks like... Oh. Huh. Quantum fluctuations. I'm going to turn my flashlight on in here. Oh, no, another statue. Oh, the music got dramatic. So I'm going to put this away to keep the vibe. big sad all right but theoretically someone's down here oh my gosh okay what even is this place do I want to make that jump over there or do I want to jump down there um I'm gonna try to yeet Oh, oh, flip. Okay, so I'm in the water. What the heck? I don't think I like this. That's okay. Um, hello? Yeah, I just wanted to hop into this real quick. See what's up in here. Huh. Sure, it's all the way over there. Where's that other? Hmm. 
This is wild. What are all these holes? I think that's a geyser, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from it for the moment. How do I get in here? Cause this looks like some fun tractor beam shenanigans. All right, so I can't do anything about that. But theoretically, I can just... Nope. That's above the water's surface. It's dark in here. Where do I go? All right. It looks like this is my only option. So, okay, so this takes me into that. And this takes me up way up oh so it just gently lets me out right here me poor no mine what were they mining what is this stuff why is somebody so close to me grove shard museum shard no distress beacons all right, what, is, what does this have to say for itself? Oeno, I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash, Pro or Ash Twin Project requires. Psycad, isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. Oeno. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Oh boy, I'm learning so much. Coleus, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timberhearth's ore for constructing the shell, or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have to <laughs> we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Lovely. Psychad. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. <laughs> oh wait, no. I thought I had you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coldius. Coldius. Ah, oh, another name I recognize. Coldius. How else would he improve? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Ship log updated. Do I want to be taking these scrolls? I really don't know. Like, that doesn't feel like something I should do. I mean, it feels like something I should do, but it's not something I want to do. Ooh, you though. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Oh! What in the I'm tripping out man all oh, snow my just died sitting here. What happened to these people? Hold on. Wait. There's another thing over here. Oh, hold on, let me just drop it on that. Like that. Why does it want me to drop it right there? Oh, let's try this. Untranslated know my writing. Yero, again. Hmm. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oena. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Project, or Ash Twin Project. Yero, once we've finished the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Oh wait, no. This is exciting news. I can offer, or can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically, mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Yero. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Why do I get the feeling that's exactly what happened? I'm gonna do this again. 
Right, I'm ready for you boys. So, two of them are lit up. Three of them are lit up. I'm guessing this one's mine. Because it's separated from the others. This is lasting much longer than last time. Did I do something to... What is that sound? What is happening? It's making me very uncomfortable. But I want to keep watching. Oh, am I about to die? A lot of... <laughs> what just happened? I don't think they liked me doing that. Well, you know, I think that is good for that episode. So <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, like bacon, stay crispy, my friends. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.